we are able to watch our interesting cartoon shows and we are able to know so many things about our own planet Earth or so much about the outer world. Do you ever wonder how all of this is possible? All these are possible due to something called a satellite which is launched into space and moves around our own Earth or another body in space. Man-made machines in space are called artificial satellites. There are also natural satellites. The moon is a natural satellite since it moves around the Earth. All the planets in our solar system are natural satellites since they move around the sun. Thousands of artificial or man-made satellites orbit Earth. So, what is a satellite? As mentioned before, a satellite is any object or body which moves around another body in space. The Sputnik 1 spacecraft was the first ever artificial satellite when it was launched into space on 4th October 1957. Satellites come in many shapes and sizes, but most have at least two parts in common, an antenna and a power source. The antenna sends and receives information to and from Earth. The power source can be a solar panel or battery. Solar panels make power by turning sunlight into electricity. Many satellites carry cameras and scientific sensors. Sometimes these instruments point towards Earth to gather information about its land, air and water. Other times they face towards space to collect data from the solar system and beyond. Most satellites are launched into space on rockets. A satellite orbits Earth when its speed is balanced by the pull of Earth's gravity. Without this balance, the satellite would fly in a straight line off into space or fall back to Earth. Satellites orbit Earth at different heights, different speeds and along different paths. The three most common types of orbit are geostationary, polar and low Earth orbit. A geostationary satellite travels from west to east over the equator. It moves in the same direction and at the same rate that the Earth is spinning. From Earth, a geostationary satellite looks like it is standing still since it is always above the same location. Polar orbiting satellites travel in a north-south direction from pole to pole. As Earth spins underneath, these satellites can scan the entire globe, one strip at a time. Low Earth orbit satellites are located at an altitude of 2000 kilometers or less from the Earth's surface. The advantage of the low Earth orbit is that it requires less energy to place a satellite in that orbit and it provides better communications. This makes the low Earth orbit attractive for exploring more opportunities for satellite communication. We are able to watch interesting TV programs and many more, all thanks to satellites. These are called communication satellites, which are also called geostationary satellites. Satellites help us to study activities and know more about space beyond the Earth. They are used for sighting distant galaxies and understanding solar events. These are astronomical satellites which are observational in nature. Say if you were lost or going for a hike. With the help of GPS on your phone, you can track and monitor your route. Now these satellites are navigational satellites which are useful in our travel and transportation on land, water and air. Satellites looking towards Earth provide information about clouds, oceans, land and ice and satellites monitor wildfires, volcanoes and their smoke. All this information helps scientists predict weather and climate. The information also helps public health officials track diseases and famine. It helps farmers know what crops to plant and it helps emergency workers respond to natural disasters. So, knowing now that satellites perform so many important functions, can you imagine how inconvenient our lives would be if there were no satellites?